welcome back to White House Farm. What we're doing today is putting a new toilet in the RV or camper. And this is the new one we got. This is a Aqua Magic 6. And we went ahead and got the foot pedal stool one. The old one that was in here um, had the handle and it's kind of gross, especially with little ones. And this is pre-owned, so we don't know what the other people did in it. So it's kind of nasty. And we wanted a fresh brand new toilet for this camper. So I already went ahead and disconnected the old one. And this is the old one. And see, there's the handle. So obviously when the toilet heats up, people are splattering and hitting stuff. And it's pretty nasty. And now we got a nice, fresh, clean one. So we could take this one out of here. And they're pretty lightweight. Here it is. And this is usually one of these parts in here. If you don't winterize it correctly, uh, this is where people have a lot of trouble. They get broken and stuff, and they got to replace them. There's the number on this one. And it comes with a new gasket and your hardware for holding it down. It does come with new hardware if you need it. Uh, these aren't rusted out or anything and they're the same size and if you wanted to remove them they just slide out just like that and then yep put your new ones in This one's a little caked in there. Gotta give it some wax. There we go. Old one came out. Let me slide our new one in there. Definitely tight over here. You could also loosen up these screws, but there we go. Alright, next thing you want to do, this gasket. Go ahead and get rid of that. Once we get this on, this piece right here is going to screw into here. And these are movable, so once you get it locked down, um, then you can go ahead and just tighten this right up on there. Really simple. And it comes with a brand new gasket. And if you want, you can even put your gasket on like this, and then put it on. You're just going to line up the holes. And it goes on nice and easy. And now it's flush in there. And now we can put our screws, or now we can put our nuts on. and start tightening these up and if you have a ratcheting one it's going to be a lot easier won't take as long And then this piece comes over here and tightens up. Alright, so 
So we got a nice flush seal in there that's in there correctly. We're not going to have any leaking. We can go ahead and put our caps on the sides of these bolts now. And they just slip on like that. Yep, snap on. And then we got one left here. There we go. All right, so this is the only other tool besides the wrench that you're gonna need. And that's just to loosen up the back if they got them on super tight. But hang on to this. Uh, once you turn the water on, just check, make sure it's not leaking. If so, give it a little tighten. Um, but be careful because it is plastic. You don't want to over tighten these. They don't need to be cranked on uh, just enough to stop the water. So there we go. Nice new toilet and you don't need to put your hands on anything. You can use your feet and just press the pump and that opens it right up. And I'll leave a link in the description if you're looking to pick up one and now we won't have pee everywhere yeah so quick simple and easy uh once again we hope you like enjoy subscribe check out all, all of our other videos and we'll see you in the next one bye guys you can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me all right olaf we'll see you in the next one all right bye oboe bye guys